me, you know me, I'm Kevin, and today I made my own EV3 forklift. So, this forklift is actually only used to lift up the stuff and put it on somewhere higher as possible as this can. <coughs> so, if you want to make this, you will need one EV3 brick, two large mowers, left and right, one me medium mower to lift this up and down, and then you'll need two of these small balls for the back. Well, if you want to use one, you can do it, but I don't recommend you to do that. And then, next one, to control this, you won't need a program, but you'll need a, a smartphone like this one, and the application, which is RoboLiterate. And then, for the target for this thing to lift it up, you will need this one, which is two big wheels, some plates, and a bit of bushings. And then, to connect the EV3 to the phone, for the first one, you'll start your EV3 brick like this. So, you gotta go rush into the settings, down to the Bluetooth, click it, and you'll see some options. And then, if you're using an iPad, iPhone, or iPod, click this thing on. But if not, do, don't do it. Up. This is a total must. This one's too, so it can be visible. Then, after you're done, just back like that. And you can just go back to your home page or do something else. And then, for your phone, you'll need to turn on your Bluetooth, which is here. So, it, if you're deactivated, then good. And then, inside the app, this is the home page. So, you gotta click play and then you'll select your device here so for example this one is my device so you need to tap it after that wait it is going to show like this so and for this one it depends on your uh, motor ports so left is B and right is C that is mine and then if done click the orange button here ok and this is how it looks like when you want to control your robot. So, the slide here is the power, low, high, and then these all things are like tones like, like that. That was from the EV3. And then these things are controlling the motor by itself one by one. And then the, the four buttons here are for the steering, so it's for left, right, and back. And then, and then for the left one, it's actually just like one is going to the front and one is going to the back. And then, also same for this. So, then for the lifting up things, you I recommend you also for the low power and... That's it for the uh, on the phone, and let's see how it works. <coughs> okay, so if you want to see it works, the program is yourself. So, for example, this thing is right here. So you need to turn around, and you'll need a little power for that. So just do that. Go forward a bit, turn around, make it very precisely if you can, then put on the hook, go forward, okay, needs to go there a bit, and then if you're done, just push it in to the power, like that, and then click the A to the up, so I will lift it up, wait. up then so our target to place it up is here so we're gonna put down the power wait okay we're just gonna do this put it up again 
go forward. Wait, it's not high enough. Okay, so we're just gonna push it right there. And then, when you already did this and you are sure where you are going to put it, drop down the hook and go backwards. So, actually for this one, this is not a maximum height, but you can actually lift it up as high as this. So, basically this is the maximum height for this, and the height of this is actually plus this one. That's actually even a bit of higher, so you can take it again. Okay. But remember, just have a small power. If you want to take it, put it down slowly, and you can see there. Make sure it's lower than the pallet there. Go wait. Go forward. Let me try to show you here. Okay. Go forward. You're done. Lift it up. Go backward. Put it down. Okay. So if you're done, just leave it there. Go backward. Lift it up. Okay. Okay. So that's how it works. So thank you for watching, good luck lifting up stuff with this and also for playing and don't forget to subscribe.